The defense came to play today against the NFC North rival Detroit Lions, and you already know what I thought the outcome was going to be, and it ended up being just fine. Did you see today coming? The Chicago Bears defeated the Detroit Lions at Soldier Field in Week 14 to advance to 5-8 with a 28-13 win. DJ Moore was unstoppable today. Justin Fields had himself a day as well, and the defense was on fire hello everyone and welcome back to this win recap of for the chicago bears on just another year chicago bears my name is nick Rody, and as always thank you for tuning in what a game today by the chicago bears fields is the guy just putting it out there, Fields is the guy. And Chicago is even more in the playoff hunt now. If you're feeling good after back-to-back -back NFC North wins for the Chicago Bears and being three and four in our last four games, make sure you smash that like button in excitement and throw Bear down in the comment section below along with your thoughts on today's game. I knew this team wasn't done and I know a lot of you guys were too and they're just heating up right now. They're three and one again over their last four and they haven't even easier schedule over the next four games. The playoffs are a real thing. Let's go. The offense started off today very hot, receiving the ball first and having a big rushing touchdown by DJ Moore. They cooled off a little bit for the second quarter, but then got things right going again in the second half. DJ Moore scored again off a free play by Justin Fields, a very good thing to see from the young quarterback and his wide receiver one. And then Fields took it in himself to solidify the game, and he had little to no mistakes, and I am loving what I'm seeing out of him over the last couple games. There was a lot still question about, about Luke Getze's play calling, but he didn't run 19 screens today, so that's always a positive. But great job by this team putting up 28 points. In total for today, Chicago had 336 total offensive yards with 194 total passing yards 142 total rushing yards 20 first downs six for 14 on third down could be a little bit better allowed three sacks against a very tough detroit defense which is impressive and owned 33 in 19 seconds minutes of possession outpacing the Detroit Lions. Field stats today, pretty respectful. 19 of 33 with 233 passing yards, one touchdown, zero interceptions, 10 rushes for 60 yards. And he started the game red hot again with that first touchdown possession for DJ Moore. I am very happy with the progression that he made because he played this team not too long ago and was able to do exactly what he did last time honestly even better than last time and it showed that even though detroit had time to game plan didn't matter for justin fields he went out there and got the job done himself the rushing attack today wasn't really a thing for the running backs at least deontay foreman led the team with 10 carries for 43 yards from a running back room standpoint but cleo herbert only with three carries for eight yards and rashawn johnson with only one carry a little bit questionable on the game plan because we do have talented, dynamic running backs, but a win is a win. The wide receiver room, though, DJ Moore is my guy. Six receptions for 68 yards today, including a rushing and receiving touchdown. Again, that was his first rushing touchdown of his career. And he got a little banged up a little bit into the game, but he bounced right back and was able to help the Chicago Bears offense continue to move the ball. Kolkomet had another big day as well. Five receptions for 66 yards, moving the chains. Love to see it from the big man. What a game today for him. I am really liking that's this extension even more for the Chicago land kid. And then Darnell Mooney was also involved today with two catches for 44 yards. Love to see that from him. And then a little shout out to Braxton Jones. I know my dad's not going to like it, but he did have a good day against Aiden Hutchinson today, who only had one sack. Jones was able to very well adjust himself and make things happen. Still, fire Luke Getzi, though. Not a fan of his game. Plan. The defense, though, the saviors of today's game. No points allowed in the second half by this defense. Great. Great adjustments by Eberflus and his staff. Two interceptions today on Jared Goff. That's five on the season. One by Jalen Johnson in the first half, and then one by Tremaine Edmonds in the second half to solidify the game. TJ Edwards, future pro bowler in my opinion, also had a big game today. Also had a fumble recovery for the Chicago Bears as Jared Goff fumbled the snap and was able to get it himself in a big momentum shift for the game. Then finally, we got four sacks on the day. First one was by Yannick Ngakwe. Second one was by Jervon Dexter. Senior. Third one was by Walter Payton of the Man of the Year nominee, Justin Jones. And fourth one was by Montez Sweat. The sweat effect is a real thing. This defensive line is doing fantastic, and there's no denial of that. In total, they didn't allow anything to this Detroit offense, allowing only 267 total yards, 127 total being passing, 140 total being rushing, 13 points allowed, only again zero in the second half. 
13 first downs, six for 15 on third down, one for five on fourth down, four sacks and four punts for this defense. They're back and they're arguably top five now. And if we're gonna continue to do this, this defense is going to carry this team to the playoffs. And let me say this one more time. Three and one over the last four. Defense keeps getting better and better. Offense is progressing, still needs a play caller next year, but progressing. And the question becomes, do we allow Eberflus to be head coach next year? Again, if he makes the playoffs, I think he secures his job. This team is just too hot right now, and I'm feeling pretty good. A little thoughts in the comment section below, but again, write a bear down and like this video if you are excited about this Bears win as they are five and eight now. But with that thank you very much for joining this episode of just another year chicago my name is nick Rody, and as always bear down